Hola and welcome. Now today I decided to do a chill out time on this nice and gorgeous sunny morning and I thought why not for a chill out time I opened my book that I bought. I bought this Commodore Amiga a visual compendium book and um, I was curious about it and it's still in itself and it's so wrapped so I just thought it's a bit of a chill out with me and let's have a, a brief flick through like first impression kind of thing. I didn't take a sip of that, did I? <laughs> Let's get this open. My nail is still growing back from the accident I had. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. Oh, I might actually stick this sticker on the back or something. I don't wanna... I don't want this sticker to be gone. Right, so let's have a, a bit of a flick through. See what this is. This book is all about. My first impressions on it. It's already looking quite amazing, to be honest. I like this workbench. It's just 1.3 fields with these pages. Okay, this is the index. Oh, kind of water. My stupid. And of course, what we all know and love. <laughs> Guru Petish. And it tells you some information about it as well. Wow, that is that is good artwork. Uh, Gianna Sisters. Wow. I'm liking this book already to be honest. Just a little bit of flip. It's quite a big book. I remember used to playing IK Plus. Um, my brother used to play it, and I used to always watch out for the worm going past the Pac Man. I think it was here. The worm going past, and sometimes the Pac Man going past in the background. <laughs> the Lux Paint was my go to daily tool, as important as the pen I ever owned. Actually, back then, um, when, I was <laughs> when I was little, it was kind of. The, I shared the same sentiment. Which reminds me, I'm gonna do a bit of a video on the Lux Paint. Ooh, James pun. I saw that by accident. <laughs> Roger Rabbit? Had an, Roger Rabbit had an impossible deadline of something like 39 days, which is why I turned it down. Roger Rabbit was going to be done on your Amiga? You know, I always loved the, um, oh, this is, um, is that Lemmings 3? Remember that being, yeah, All New World of Lemmings, that's Lemmings 3, 1995. Rainbow Islands, wow. Someone just, uh, sent me a disc of this, an ADF image saying that they've, you know, made the colors, improved the colors or something. I still need to check that out. X copy, who doesn't remember this? <laughs> oh, Rick Dangerous too. I just played this for the Lemon Amiga competition. Speedball too. My brother was always playing this and I used to play it with him every now and then. It's a very good game. Hurricane, of course. <laughs> There's something. Ah, it's written by Chris Hulsbeck. Hurricane was a true change for the era of everyone involved. For me personally, it signified me having left the Commodore 64 and truly embracing the Amiga. Hurricane would eventually become one of my greatest accomplishments. Ah, this. The Shadow of the Beast 2 always had amazing artwork. I always felt this way. Oh, another world. This is a little snip from Eric G. 
Shanghai. Shanghai, I don't know how to say his name. I need to play this for nostalgia time. I've been meaning to for a long time actually. It's a lot of stuff. It's another one from nostalgia time. Adeline! I love this book already. It's just... Wow. It's just artwork of the, in all the games that you, know, you knew and loved back then. What well, you know and love before. Now even. I remember my brother had a poster of this in his room. Oh, this is sensible software. It's a team. Biscuit. This was a weird game. I remember playing it. And it was just odd. <laughs> it's the baseball too. <laughs> I remember this. Ah, <laughs> uh, lemmings. Actually, somebody requested this, but I also wanted to play it myself. So one nostalgia time is gonna be that. I'm gonna go through all this being like, oh, I'm gonna play this for a nostalgia time. I'm gonna play that for a nostalgia time. <laughs> I'm just close to <laughs> Of course, Terrican and what's your hearing now? <laughs> Apedia. I just actually I recently played this um, for Lemon Amiga as well. I need to check out the forum to see if there's any more games. Well there will be any more games, what the next game is I should say. Oh, these the um the, the what do you call it the front covers the what do you call them what are they called I lost my words <laughs> the box the front cover on the box the box artwork oh my goodness <laughs> I lost my words there completely ooh this game makes me always go ooh <laughs> oh, this is the demo scene. Oh, because it's got a section on the demo scene. Actually, I remember Re Rebels Magadama. It's one of, one of the ones I really like. The first ever disc which I tried in the Amiga, when we first got it, was Avenger Magadama. That's the first everything I tried. I put it to the Amiga. Lemmings 2 of Tribes. I used to enjoy this. I mean, I like Lemmings 1 the best, the original Lemmings, but this one I enjoyed a lot, even though it gets a bit complicated, I really have to remember. Because there's, there's so much more um, things you can do with it. Oh, Micro Machines! I used to play this when I was in my teens. I used to play this so much. It's a very homely kind of game. You know, I like it. You know, it's sort of like you go around the house driving <laughs> stuff. Different parts of the house. It's really nice. Oh, Morph! I remember this is another homely kind of game. <laughs> I remember playing this too. And it's kind of. Oh, I need to play this for nostalgia time. It's a nice puzzle game. It's... You really have to. I got. I didn't get so far, but I got far enough. I have to keep adjusting the camera for the sun. The sun keeps going dim and bright, so <laughs> I have to kind of like keep keep an eye on the camera so you guys don't get underexposed or overexposed. <gasps> Super Frog! I know Super Frog. I know Super Frog very well, of course I do. It's my childhood. Well, more my teenage years. I played Zool, but I never played Zool 2. I must do that. I love the artwork. I'm loving this book. It's just... It's just perfect for me. I'm a visual person. I love graphics. I love things like this. And this is just for me. <laughs> I like it. And I highly recommend Slam Tilt. I never actually played Slam Tilt. It was always pinball dreams for me. And sometimes Pinball Fantasies. Pinball Illusions? I was just never a fan of Pinball Illusions. I mean, yes, the graphics and everything was great, 
but the tables were just, I found them a little dull and boring, to be honest. My favorite is always has to pinball dreams. Unreleased Amiga games. Interesting. And this is of course the index. And we've... <gasps> Ooh! Okay, signatures. Nice! Okay, so that is Commodore Amiga, a visual comp a compendum. And I do recommend this. For those of you who love the graphics, who love the visual things, who are nostalgic about the games, who love the Amiga, I recommend this. I really like it. Just before I go, you will remember that last time, I, the last uh, chill out time, I had uh, done a, a little chill out episode of planting abenero seeds. Now, I have to, I have good news. Those have just sprouted. Just sprouted. I was worried for a second that they hadn't done. And also, I decided to do another pot with red abeneros. The first pot had orange abeneros. And, um, so yeah, the boat sprouted and I'm looking forward to the progress on this. I'll keep you updated every now and then. I guess I'm slightly delaying the end because I love this music. <laughs> it's my favorite music from Shadow of the Beast. It's from the first Shadow of the Beast, you know when you go underground? After the first level, you go underground and it's this music. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, do leave your thoughts in the comments below and of course don't forget to check out my other videos, there's Amiga videos, music videos, electronics and there will be more in the future. Do subscribe for more. For now, I will chill out and I will say adios.